For Broadus Williams, a 17-year veteran of Georgia Power and troubleshooter for the company, the constant hum and buzzing of power lines has become the norm, somewhat soothing in one sense. But like many of us, once his work is complete and the power has been restored, Broadus wants to relax and venture into his happy place. And for Broadus, that means trading in the sound of buzzing power lines for a different type of buzzing noise, the one you get when thousands of bees are working together. Well, you know, I, I started years ago because I had fruit trees and my fruit trees wasn't producing. And I cleared a bunch of land off and started planting trees and the trees were growing and they would, they would blossom every year, but I never got into fruit. And I, I started doing research like, why, why? And I found out that I needed bees. And so began his passion for the busy little creatures. After buying his first hive, Broadus then joined a local bee club. He tells me that one hive turned into nine, nine turned into 49. Today, he's not exactly sure how many beehives he has. Let's just say there's a lot of them. I used to get the bees for my trees, and now I, got, now I plant trees for the bees, or I plant plant for the bees. Have you found now that it's really a second business for you? Yeah, it's pretty, pretty much so. Um, I, I do really good sell, selling honey, and um, and I'm selling queens. Beekeepers get involved in, in bees and then they found out real fast that they need queens. They want to grow more or they lose a queen and then they want, they need one really quick. So they will contact me from time to time and get queens. So um, it's been good. It's been good in both ways. I sell honey and I sell queen and eventually I'll eventually start selling bee boxes with bees in them. Adding to that, Brada says his long-term plan is to eventually retire and move his operation to the West Coast. For now, though, he still has some unfinished business here in Georgia. In Macon, when someone needs a house cleared of bees, Broadus is one of the experts they call. He also teaches beekeeping classes at Young Harris College. And, of course, there's his main job at Georgia Power. Well, Georgia Power seemed to think that it's pretty cool because... Um, you know, at one time, uh, it was a lot of talk about the de bees in decline. And um, so, so, you know, w Georgia Power was truly aware, fully aware of that. And, and they kind of was concerned about it as well, got involved in it. We, we also have bees at our headquarters in Atlanta, our main headquarters. So, um, th so that they're dedicated toward, you know, us being stewards in our neighborhood and in, in the community. And this is a great, great way to um, be a part of it. The biggest thing is how do you do it? How do you do so much of this? You, you work full time there and you work full time with your bees and you got a family. How do you do it? How do you manage it all? Well, it's just, it's just me wanting to do it. You wanting to do it, you'll find the time, make time to do it. it, it you can't take away from my family time. Um, I have to you know, dedicate a lot of time to that and my family. And then, you know, of course my, my Christian background, you know, dedicate time to that. And then work is eight hours or more, depending on storm situation, depending on where we, you know, what's going on in the weather. And then this, this is, this has been um, more than, it's not work, it's kind of like therapeutic and it's fun. So when it's fun and it's therapeutic, it's not like work, you know? I just, it's something I really enjoy. I'm doing, I think I, I would do it for free. It's just I get paid to do it. In Roberta, Georgia, I'm Ray D'Alessio for the Farm Monitor.